And welcome, everyone, to an NCAA.com March Madness postgame Skype session. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Amir Sims from Clemson. This is my second Clemson Skype in a week. Clemson beat North Carolina on the road first time after losing 59 straight. Talked to Brad Bunnell as you guys were getting ready to board the plane. Now you knock off Duke at home at Little John. Uh, Amir, how'd you pull this one off? Uh, I mean, it just started with the guys in practice. You know, we came here, we had a day and a half for the preparation. We took it very seriously. No one took it lightly. We were just so locked in and ready to get this W, you know, play as a team. And it just shows tonight playing the full 40. You know, it could have been easy to have a little bit of a hangover from the Carolina win, uh, even though we know Carolina's injury riddled and all that, but it was historic in getting that win, and you guys certainly celebrated and deservedly so. How locked in were the practices in between this Carolina and Duke game? Um, very locked in. Everybody from 1 to 10 on the team, even the guys injured, everybody was talking, everybody was loud, and uh, we were just really, like, getting after it in practice. We wasn't really going, like, contact on contact, but... We just got a little feel for like, their offense and how they want to guard us and how to guard Vernon. And uh, we just took that and kind of tried to apply it mentally because, you know, we didn't have that much time to prepare for them. But uh, we just all was, like, kind of visualizing what we do in the game, and that's how we attacked in the practice. All right, so how did you guard him? Well, he still had 20 because he's a phenomenal player. But we just tried to do a lot of bodies at him, you know, coming at him from different angles, from the baseline, from the middle. And uh, it bothered him a few times. But like I said, he's just a great player. And great players are always going to follow ways to score. All right, so you had a career night. Uh, why were you feeling it uh, at such a, you know, obviously at such a high level tonight? Um, I mean, I put in a lot of hours over summer and over the fall before season started for nights like this to come about and it just show, you know, being at home, you know, with 9,000 people rocking the John is just something unbelievable. And that just got me going early, you know, to get myself inside. And, you know, you want to be Duke, you got to be the inside out. And uh, for me to start inside, it just kind of got my motor going. And then everything just started falling in place with my team. He's got open shots and got me the ball. Now, people may forget, you guys won a gold medal this summer. World University Games in Italy, you had, I think, a dozen points in that championship gold medal game. What happened where that didn't necessarily translate into the beginning of the season? You guys started off with that Virginia Tech loss. What happened from that gold medal championship in July to really the beginning of this season? Um, I think, you know, we definitely lost a few players along that way, but in the meantime, we also lost like, kind of our identity and like our defensive edge on things. And, you know, then we went on the stretch to lose, I think, three or four games in a row where we kind of didn't know much about ourselves at that point. We kind of got away from our uh, principles and our core. And I think going home for Christmas break definitely allowed us to reboot and uh, recharge that and uh, focus back up mentally. But in that time span, I think we just got away from ourselves, our strengths, uh, and what we preach here. And then, uh, like I said, on Christmas break, we got back to those things. And yeah, it's interesting. Up. You guys have now won three in a row, including, you know, at NC State, uh, or, yeah, excuse me, NC State at home, then at Carolina, now Duke at home, and now you're going to play at NC State. And actually, your losses before, you guys have not lost to a non-Power 5 school except for Yale, and by the way, they're the best team in the Ivy right now, so you don't really have a bad loss. Um, as you look now forward, this game against NC State, you've already knocked them off once. You guys got the momentum. How do you make sure that this consistency continues? Well, I mean, our model all season has been on to the next. And, you know, we know playing them the first time, we kind of got them with a lot of things they didn't expect. So we know going into this game, they're going to have adjustments made so they can kind of slow us down. And we just got to find ways to pick them apart. And there's the play together. That's the biggest thing for our teammates is our depth as well. And we just got to find ways to play together. It's going to be really loud in there, I suppose. I mean, I expect. And, uh, you know, the last few times we've been there, it's been a little crazy, but like I said, going into this game, we just got to find ways to adjust, like just like they are, and uh, hopefully, you know, the team who prepares the best will come out victorious. You know, Amir, the beauty of the ACC is even if you guys struggle in the non-conference, you can pick up quality wins, quad one wins in this conference because there's so many to choose from. You know, I'm just curious, when things were a little down, when you guys were losing some games, how were you guys able, from the coaching staff on down, to make sure you guys stayed locked into where the point where, you know what, there's still a lot we can achieve this season. There's still plenty of games we can win to put ourselves in position to be in the NCAA tournament. Um, because, you know, you know the college season is very long. You play 30-plus games. And, you know, you're not a conference. You can be a little shaky. But as long as you finish strong through conference play and even the tournament, you know, that's what gives us the motivation to fight every day. Our season isn't over. We lost seven games, and we have a lot more to go. You know, we play a lot of games. With the, the extra games added to the ACC it definitely helps us to give extra two games. And I think... For us, mentally, we just know that. And uh, that's all we've been thinking about. Just like one game at a time. Don't worry about two games. It's just one at a time. 
and just attack every game with a different mentality. That's going to be better than the last, and that's just our mentality going forward is just be prepared for every game and go as they would say balls to the wall. All right, Amir, how would you compare the celebrations at Carolina, on the floor, in that locker room, versus dealing with a court storming at home tonight at Little John? Uh, for me, honestly, I'm going to have to pick this one because the last time we stormed the court was when we beat USC at home my freshman year. So for us to come out here and just perform the way we did for a full 40 minutes and have our student section and our sense of family here right after we just played in the national championship last night, which is unbelievable in a, a moment that none of us will ever forget. Yeah, I'll so tell I'm you, I come. I covered a Clemson Carolina game at Little John years ago, and there was a court storming, and I was in the middle of that. Uh, certainly, uh, it, it can be suffocating, and it's a great experience. All right, before we wrap up, you just mentioned that the college football championship was last night. Clemson losing to LSU. How much can this win over Duke? It wasn't just win over some other ACC team. This is a win over Duke. Help ease any pain from that loss on the football field on Monday night. I think it's big. You know, our school gets behind every program they can support us, you know, for Colorado and for everyone to come here and just to be here for us, you know, it just shows that no matter if we win or lose, they're going to come support us because like they were down there and they came back tonight to support us. It just shows, like, what our Clemson family is about. And I think that's why a lot of guys choose this place because the atmosphere, the family atmosphere is what pull guys in, and that's just something that we'll always remember. Amir, congrats on a great night. I don't know what you're going to do for an encore. Carolina, <laughs> Duke, we'll see what's up next. Thank you.